Chief Minister Konrad Sangma today inaugurated the Chief Minister Solar Mission at the State Convention Center Shillong in the presence of Power Minister Abu Taher Mondal and Chairman of Meghalaya Non-Conventional and Rural Energy Development Agency Rupert Momin. Terming the launch of the CM Solar Mission a significant stride forward in the state government's journey towards tackling power challenges, the chief minister in his address said that the government envisions a scenario where 30 to 40 percent households are equipped with solar units. The chief minister said that the government of Megalia will provide substantial subsidy along with back-end bank financing and beneficiaries will have to foot a minuscule financial burden at the time of availing the benefit. The government subsidy Subsidy will range from 70% for individual households to 50% subsidy for schools, hospitals, hotels and other commercial entities. The chief minister also informed that the government of Meghalaya will earmark investment of Rs 100 crore annually for the solar mission initially and once the program gains momentum, the government will invite partners to diversify the portfolio of funding. I close a year in investing in this solar mission with a mix of portfolio of funding from different agencies, including the state government. And through this, we are hopeful that in the next five years, we should be able to touch anything between 200 to minimum 300 megawatts of installed power supply of solar in the, uh, in the student's mission, which means it will be almost equal to the installed capacity that we have right now uh, through the uh, hydro projects that we have. Now, while we do this, we understand that there are challenges. It's not easy. We also understand that uh, uh, in uh, solar there are challenges because we don't have uh, the uh, sun uh, for about five, six months. We don't get uh, proper sunlight. And in the other two, three months, it is partial. And only about four to five months, we get uh, more radiation and more uh, sun. Uh, that is why the technology that we'll be using is a tried and tested technology. We have done this in different health centers in our state. There are almost 100 such health centers which even today are running for two to three days, four days almost, purely on solar power. So in case there is a power disruption with no problem at all, even when there is cloud, these units are today providing power backup to different uh, institutes, uh, to different uh, health medical centers for up to even four days in a row. And when solar is not available, even by conventional lines, the normal grid, it will be charged. And this kind of unit we are planning to give in different varieties. So it's a complete solution we're giving. We're not just giving you, you know, just the solar panels. No, we are giving you a full solution which will be installed by us, which will be maintained by us, and which will also be to a large extent financed by us. And we intend to give you units which will range from 0.5 kVA for individual households, small ones, going up to 1 kVA, 3 kVA, 5 kVA, and for larger units of 10 kV, 25 kV, and even up to 40 kV. And hence, larger institutes, colleges, schools, hospitals, all of these organizations can then use the larger and the bigger units. And the smaller houses can use the 0.5, 1, or 3 kV. And the houses in maybe the urban areas that have higher uh, consumption can use the 5, 10 kV uh, units for their household. And uh, in this, the government of Meghalaya will be subsidizing up to almost 70% of the cost. At the launch, Power Minister A.T. Mondal also spoke and credited Chief Minister for the initiative that would benefit the people of the state. He also highlighted problems related to power as Meghalaya largely depends on hydropower for generation of electricity. All the power project projects in the state are hydro based power project. Minus Umia, all the power projects are also run of the 
river power projects. If water is not there, generation dips down like anything. Though our install capacity is 378.7 megawatt, we are not able to harness the entire capacity of our generation. The peak demand is increasing. You will be surprised to know in the year 2020-21, the peak demand was 365.38 megawatt. This year, we have gone through a very difficult situation as far the power situation of the state is concerned. Being the power minister of the state, I feel obligatory to give the background that how we have reached in today's function.